Hello, welcome to the next video on my MSI 2022 preview. We are covering pocket picks in this video. Um, you're going to see a lot of champions that, oh, all well, the champions played by this team or that team, but the um, gist of what this video is going to be about is the top banned champions against only one team at this tournament. So, like I said in my video this morning, if you missed it, for instance, um, Poppy. So we're just going to go over Poppy real fast. That nation focused me played more poppy than anybody else on this board really to the point where people banned poppy against them but poppy was not banned against anybody else at the level it was banned against that nation focused me if that makes sense i used games of legends for my stats they list the top six champions banned against each team throughout the spring split and if a champion only appeared once they ended up on the board i looked at maybe why that champion is being banned against that team so you get an idea you're like why the hell is poppy banned against against that nation focus me well it's because steel is eight and zero on the champion this year um and that's going to be the trend you're going to see with most of this is that these weird champion picks really really worked well for these teams and in their own region domestically so uh steel eight no on poppy um obviously that's a flex um but we'll see if it continues um, we saw some Poppy in, in various regions throughout the split, people playing Poppy, but Detonation Focus Me really relied on it. Um, an interesting thing with G2, Lucian was banned against G2 a lot, despite them never playing G2 this split. Um, I couldn't find G2 games at all. Um, I might be missing something. I feel like I might be missing something, but um, I couldn't find it. Caps was 5-3 and three on, G, on Lucian last year. Broken Blade was 0-1. Flacid was 2-1. So, Lucian was getting banned against G2 despite them not picking it all spring. Um, that's very interesting because they didn't even, no one even was like, hey, let's just see how they fare with Lucian. No, we're not going to give them the opportunity to flex that pick. Um, Volibear was banned against G2 as well a lot. Yankos was 2 and 1 on the champion in his opportunities. Um, PSG, this is where um, my eyes were really open to the fact that I think. Um, Red Cannons and um, Istanbul Wildcats are going to be, I, I don't want to say screwed, but they are they have a hill to climb in top lane. So PSG, Nar, and Gangplank were ba banned against Hanabi a lot. Um, everybody played Nar this year, but nobody played it like Hanabi. Hanabi went 7-0 and on the champion. With Gangplank, he went 4-3. and And then the Ari also was banned at a high rate, which Bay would... Bay was 5-0 and on the champion. So, why is this a problem for CB Lull and uh, TCL? Well, uh, Gigo and Starscreen are not at a Hanabi level, and if they're forced to ban a NAR, that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty sad in a way. They have to ban NAR. NAR should not be a champion that's going to make or break your, um, you know, your game. But in this case, um, it might be a consideration and if you're wasting a ban on a NAR, um, what are you leaving open? And is PSG going to pounce in that way? Um, everything goes through Hanabi. And honestly, I feel more vindicated in how I had the players ranked when it came, you know, in um, my ranking videos. Now that Hanabi um, clearly had a lot of champions banned against him because he was the biggest threat on the team. Not, you know, Unified or, um, or, or Bay or Yuhan. So, uh, mid, uh, order, order had an interesting champion band a lot. Evelyn. Kevy plays a lot of Evelyn. Um, apparently his Evelyn is disgusting. He went three and on Evelyn this year. Um, Kevy I have is probably the player to watch on order. Um, I think that he's really, really good. He did very well on the graves. He also went three and on that. Obviously everybody picked graves, but, um, the graves was so good for order that people were banning it against them at a high rate. Bio Panther 2-1 on the champion. They flexed it like everybody does. Um, Tom Kench was banned against him as well. Corporal was 3-0 on the... Excuse me. Corporal was 3-0 on the TK. So um, two champions that are relatively within the meta, or at least in the box of champions we normally see. And then an Evelyn. I mean, maybe they pull an Evelyn out, like a Poppy's going to be pulled out here maybe. Um, interesting picks that we don't normally see that are um, highly banned against these teams in their region. T1, the Thresh. Obviously, all supports can play Thresh to varying degrees. Karius is so good. He went 8-0 on Thresh this past split. Um, 
it was banned highly against him. His thrash is very good. I think it was his second most played champion anyways. Um, very, very good thrash. Saigon Buffalo. This is where Froggy really, I was, my eyes were open to what Froggy might be able to do for this team. Similar to Hanabi with PSG. Everything goes through Froggy with Saigon Buffalo. His Vigar was 4-2, and two, highly banned. Anybody else getting Vigar bans like that? No. Vex, 9-3. and three. Everybody was playing Vex, um, but Vex was being banned against um, Saigon Buffalo because the other team were like, he's going to first pick it. We got to ban it. Um, the Vex was very, very good for Froggy. And then Galio, because they flexed it to support. Froggy was only 6-5 and five on the champion. They were 1-0. Taki was 1-0 in bot lane on it. Um, but Galio was getting banned too. So evidently, Froggy is, I mean, at least based on this alone, um, like I say all the time, I didn't watch these smaller regions play, um, but evidently Froggy is the player that draws the bands and is a player to watch on Saigon Buffalo, who, you know, at least within their region domestically, other teams try and um, n limit um, his champion pool down. EG, Nautilus, um, Vulcan was 7-5 and five on Nautilus. So like I said yesterday with Vulcan in the support video, he really only plays Nautilus, TK, and Leona, which is not good in my opinion at an international event. Um, people decided we're going to ban the Nautilus against him, force him on the TK, force him on the Leona. Um, that's, I mean, I, he needs to expand the champion pool if he wants to succeed at this level. Um, Istanbul Wildcats, Holy Phoenix, this vindic vindicated, um, Holy Phoenix being sixth for me, um, drawing Samira bands to the point where it's actually on this board is pretty damn incredible. Nobody else is really playing Samira. I think Guma played it once. I don't think Gala played it. I don't think um, Danny might've played it once. Flacken might've played it once, but no one's playing Samira to the point where it is drawing bands. Holy Phoenix only had to play it once and it's drawing bands. Um, his Jinx also drawing bands, 3-1. Everybody played Jinx to a high level, but when it came to Istanbul Wildcats, domestically, team said, we are taking the Jinx off the board, and we'll give up something else elsewhere. We're okay with that. Um, evidently, everything goes through Holy Phoenix with Istanbul Wildcats. It's not a surprise. It's been, I mean, Holy Phoenix has been a player for a very, very long time coming out of the TCL internationally. So, I mean, that's something to monitor. And then Team Ace, Renata, um, Renata drew a lot of bans against a lot of different champ players this year, um, oftentimes being banned in the first rotation. However, um, when it came to Team Ace, Renata was banned as one of the most most banned champions against them all split long. So evidently, it was spread across a lot of different champions instead of keying in on a couple because how the heck did Renata end up in the top six? But straight, my lowest rank support, a uh, top main Roll swapped to support was 4 0 on Renata, which makes sense. Renata is a very powerful pick. A lot of these players have really good Renatas. Um, Targamas comes to mind, and somebody else picked Renata a lot. Um, and the Renata is an option for them. I mean, it's in their wheelhouse. It doesn't get banned against them, at least domestically. Um, but against A's, team said we're getting the Renata off the board. And then they also got the Trundle off the board. And you're going to say Trundle, really. Dimitri was 7-0 and on Trundle. 7-0. and And they flexed it with straight, and straight got a win on it. So they were 8-0 and on Trundle this past split. So teams were banning Trundle against Team Ace. Um, I said this, I think, in my support video yesterday. That is a thing that this team at least has as an option, is that straight can play top lane champions. Maybe you can get freaky with a Trundle, a Maokai, um, a Nasus really crazy picks down there that will throw off like i did earlier today throw off saigon buffalo throw off detonation focus me and get a win or two and if they can get a win or two all of a sudden things change for them um i mean if they get two wins that leaves a lot you know on the table i mean that'd be pretty crazy but at the same time i, I could see it happening with um a champion ocean in bot lane that you really can't prepare for um but you know, I thought this was interesting. Somebody had suggested, hey, um, I think they were suggesting that Vex was highly banned in CB LOL or highly banned in, in some region against a certain player. Um, and it's, you know, that seems high compared to everywhere else. 
Um, can you do a video about something like that? So I figured this is the way I would do it. I would do it where these champions were highly banned um, against these individual teams to the point where it actually was in the top six most banned champions against that team this past split. And um, again, uh, nobody else had that situation going for them with these specific champions. I, I just find this sort of stuff interesting. Um, comment down below if you think some of these champions might, you know, see the light of day in this tournament. Um, if you've watched, you know, your specific region, do you think the player listed underneath the champion is really, really good at the champion? Is that what it is? Is it a team comp thing? Do you think other teams really don't prepare for um, these champions all that much? Um, you know, do you think, I mean, when it comes to PSG, is it all Hanabi with Saigon Buffalo? Is it all Froggy? Um, Order, it seems like it's all Kevy. It's Nimble Wildcats. It is all Holy Phoenix. Like these smaller regions, we don't have time to watch them. I mean... If you're a fan of the region, obviously you watched it. But I doubt you're watching other smaller regions play. Um, and if you are, good for you. I commend you. Um, you know, we all only have so much time in the day. So, like I said, comment down below if you have any opinions of your own on um, these champions. Um, what they might bring to the event. Uh, let's subscribe to the channel for daily content. Tomorrow I will have my Group B predictions out. And um, thank you for watching.